everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know I missed last week. It was the first week of summer and things got a little bit hectic. <laughs> um, but I'm back. Um, hopefully I'll be able to keep up this summer. Um, I know as soon as the school year hits, I will most likely be able to get, um, to continue to be, um, uploading once a week, every week. Uh, during the summer, it might be every week, it might be every other week. I'm going to try not to skip more than two weeks. Um, but my uploading might be a little bit off during the summer. We'll see. I'll try not to have it be too bad. Um, but yeah, um, I also want to thank you guys because I hit 100 subs on Thursday. <laughs> um, which is awesome. Never thought that would actually happen. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for that, and today I'm going to be doing a Medibang Paint Pro troubleshooting video. Um, my How to Use Medibang Paint Pro video, I will link that in the top corner, um, if you haven't seen it or would like to go see it. Um, it is my most viewed video at like 9,600 something views. Um, with my next, um, most viewed video coming in at around 160 views. So, it's very popular. And I get a lot of questions in the comments on, what if this happens? What if that happens? How do I fix this? How do I fix that? So I thought I would go through some of the most common questions and just show you guys how to fix them. Because I can try to explain them to you through the comments, but it's easier for me to just show you. Um, also, if I didn't cover anything um, that you have a question on, feel free to leave it in the comments down below, and I will try my best to help you. Um, I'm rather active in the comments when it comes to these types of things. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Um, so, one of the questions I get asked the most um, is what happens if you click the X button on something. Um, so we'll just, oh no, I don't have any of my stuff. It's all gone. Can't do anything now. So, I go to, well, you go to Windows, and here's all your stuff. Click it so there's a check mark next to it. I never use the palette. Um, and there you go. And you might have to fiddle with things, but you can see over here. Um, you just put your cursor over the line and you can mess with things. But, yeah. That is how you get all your stuff back. And, but yeah, so that's how you hit everything back. Um, you can mess around with it. Um, you can also scoot these back to the side. But like, if you don't want one of these things, just get rid of it. Like, I don't ever use the palette tool. But you could, if you use it, use it. Um, but yeah, that is how you get all your stuff back. You go to Window, and you make sure there's a check mark next to it. There's also the um, Show and Hide if you really want to get rid of everything without getting rid of everything. Um, Alright, so the next question is, I can't use any of my colors. Why is it only in black and white? And that is a fairly simple fix. Um, 
Well, I'll show you in here. So when you create a new file, um, most people want the color layer and that allows you to use colors. Um, but you also have the 8-bit layer and I have some videos of me trying it out. I really like it because it helps me get my values down. Um, but um, you can't use any color with it. It doesn't let you use color. So you might have accidentally created an 8-bit layer. Um, you can also do that over here. You have your normal color layer, 8-bit layer, and a 1-bit layer. Um, I don't ever really use the 1-bit layer. It's, um, like the 8-bit lets you do, like, black and white through the entire grayscale. 1-bit is a bit more just black and white. You can see I'm in a gray and I can't, but when I go down to black, I can use it. So one bit only looks, lets you use black. Eight bit lets you use the entire grayscale and the color layer lets you use all your colors. Um, but yeah. Um, another question I, oddly enough, get asked a lot is a lot of people will have multiple things going at once and they want to get rid of them, but they don't know how to get rid of one painting uh, without getting rid of their others or without completely exiting out of the whole um, system. So up here on the top bar... Um, you just right click, uh, whether that's whatever that is on Windows or Mac. I'm not going to try to figure that out. Um, and then you can close it. Let's see what else. Oh, a lot of people have asked me about um, the cloud. So Medibang has its own cloud and it's nice um so basically many things cloud is it's nice i do think you have to have wi-fi to use it i'm almost positive you have to have wi-fi to use it so if you're not in a spot that has wi-fi or your wi-fi is not working or whatever you probably won't be able to get to whatever you have saved on the cloud, but you have endless storage on the cloud. Um, and it's in your own personal thing. No one else can take your stuff. Um, then you have your full color grayscale and black and white. Um, but yeah, it's really nice because if you're running low on storage on your computer um you can go ahead and use the cloud and to get stuff from the cloud you just go to file and open from cloud it may take a minute but it will retrieve your stuff and give it all back um and it's nice if you want to save everything on your computer and then have a backup on the cloud because like i said you don't have a a, a limit to how much gigs you can use. Also, I need to fix this because my hair is now purple. I'll do that later. Um, but yeah. Those are some of the bigger questions I get asked. Um, I have gotten some questions on how to use, um, like the divide tool, that is for dividing, so, if you use the comic, um, that's for dividing panels. Um, I'm not 100% sure how to use it because I've never really used the comic. Um, 
layer or file, whatever, because it took up so much space. But I'm going to start messing around with it because of the cloud. And when I first started using Medibang, I didn't know about the cloud. So it's really nice because I have a lot more storage on my computer now. <laughs> um... But yeah, that, oh, and how to add your own brushes. So Medibang itself has a lot of different brushes that you can take from. I really like a fair amount of them. Um, I don't have all of them, but they are nice. So... You can download a brush from Medibang's Cloud, or you can add your own brush. Uh, you can add a brush group, duplicate a brush, add brush through script, and that is basically taking an image you have made and making it into a brush. So... So here you can see I have some art brushes. Um, I don't know why it's not letting me get to those. Oh, you want to do the bitmap. So instead of add brush script, you want add brush bitmap. Then you can go from file. Then say you want the dot brush, you open, and then there you go. And then you can mess around with the type, bitmap, bitmap, watercolor, scatter, scatter, watercolor, pattern. Um, you can mess around with the width. This is also stuff you can do over here when you're using the brush. Um, Mid-width, brush spacing. Rotate angle, so if you want it to rotate, random rotate, color jitter, hue jitter. Um, but yeah, and that is how you add a brush. I don't want that brush right now. But yeah, those are my most asked questions. Oh, one more before I forget. Um, someone asked, how do you copy and flip? So, I have my microphone and not my tablet plugged in, so I'm going to use my trackpad for this. But say you... Say you drew a beautiful eye, and you wanted to flip it. Um, you would select the area you want to. This is why I use a tablet. Uh, so you would select it, you would copy and paste, and then swipe transform so you can move it. So you can, because it'll be directly on top of the other one, so you won't be able to tell what's what. You move it over to where, to the other side you want, press OK, deselect, and then you will go to you go to layer, rotate, and then you can flip vertically or horizontally. Um, This is the only way I found to actually um, make it do what I what you need it to. So that's been flipped. Um, cause you can 
flip like horizontally over here. Um, like you can do that in other places, but it won't stay when you save it. So in view, I think it is, you can rotate and flip, but that won't save when you um, go to finish whatever it is. So it just flips the whole thing. And it's a, it doesn't work very well. And it doesn't give you what you want. But if you just use the layer, rotate, flip whatever, or design rotate degree so you can customize that if you want, that is how you flip an image and keep it flipped. Because this isn't going to do it. Um, but yeah, those were my most asked questions. If you have any others that I did not answer, uh, leave them down below. If you're wondering about um, the comic template or whatever, I'm going to start messing around with that and see what I can figure out and probably make a video with it soon. So, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see that. Don't forget to like and subscribe once again. Thank you all for 100 subs. Uh, and I will hopefully see you guys next week, if not the week after that. Like I said, summer might not be the most consistent, but I'm going to try to upload at least every other week. But yeah, I will see y'all later. Bye!